Today we're going to show you how to change a dirt bike tire using the Pit Posse Tire Changing Stand, part number PP2753. The stand adjusts to different heights, so whether you're short or tall, it will make the job easier. With a wide and sturdy stance, the unit is very stable. The Pit Posse Tire Changing Stand will work on rims from 10 to 21 inches. Included with it is an adapter for smaller rims if needed. We will also be using several handy Pit Posse tools to help along the way. Proper tools and technique while changing tires are critical for success and will prevent you from damaging or even ruining your new tires. We're using the Pit Posse Tire Spoons, part number PP163, the Pit Posse Tire Pal, part number PP271. Place the stand in an area where you can move freely around, if necessary. The first step is to remove the valve core using the Posse Valve Core Remover, part number PP2321. We want to make sure that all of the air is out of the tube. This gives us more flexibility to work with. Next, loosen but don't remove the 12 millimeter nut on the rim lock. Then loosen and remove the 12 millimeter nut on the tube valve stem. Now you can push down on the bead of the tire to loosen it from the rim. Work your way all the way around and on both sides. This will give you the clearance to insert the tire spoons. Now insert two tire spoons between the rim and the bead of the tire with the curved end facing down. They should be about four to five inches apart. It is only the tip of the spoon that you're using. Too big of a bite will result in pinched tubes or damage to the tire and rim. At first, you will alternate spoons while keeping one end as a placeholder. After you are about halfway, you can finish the first side with just one spoon. With the bead on one side removed from the rim, turn the wheel over to start on the other side. Starting at the rim lock, insert the two spoons again with the same spacing as before. Now push the tube valve stem in all the way with one hand. With your other hand, grab the tire and force it down off the rim. Now for the new tire installation. Check to make sure that if your tire is directional, you have the arrow going the right way. Position the tire on the rim and carefully insert the tube into the tire, making sure it's not twisted or folded. Next, put a little air in the tube to shape it inside the tire and help prevent pinching. At this point, you'll want to lube the tire on both sides with your tire lubricant of choice. We use the Pit Posse Tire Mounting Lubricant, part number PP3180. Paying attention to where the tube's valve stem will come through the rim, Line it up and insert the stem into the rim. Next, putting the lock nut on to secure it from moving. Now grab the inside bead or lower bead from your perspective with the tire spoon rounded edge pointing down and insert it under the bead 
and then just under the rim edge. As you force the spoon down, you are putting the tire on one side of the rim, keeping one spoon in as a placeholder and advancing about four to five inches with each spoon change. After you're all the way around the rim with the first bead, check the rim lock to make sure it is free to move up and down inside the tire. Place your spoons on alternate sides of the rim lock, about five inches apart. Insert the tire pal, part number PP271, with the flat part against the bead while locking the slot on a nearby spoke. Now you can follow the same process as before. You will need to push down on the tire directly across from your spoon to give you a little extra stretching room as you get closer to the last part of the bead. If the tire seems very tight, don't damage the tire. Just take smaller bites and keep pushing down on the other side of the wheel. Now you can remove the tire pal by inserting the spoons on both sides of the rim lock. You'll want to pry out slightly so you can push the rim lock in to ensure it is seated properly in the tire. Now air the tire up to about 40 pounds or until the bead seats entirely around the rim. You can now tighten up the lock nut on the tube valve stem. Don't over tighten it as it will tear. Next, tighten the rim lock. You can use a bit more force on the rim lock. Using your tire gauge, lower the pressure to the desired amount. 15 pounds is a typical starting point. Don't forget to install the valve stem cap, and that should do it. That's it for now.